Big shout out to all the Asians out there. Any Asians in the house today? Any Asians? A few? All right, then. I know a lot of you guys are missing one thing, going out with your friends and family just to eat hot pot. Let me show you how easy it is to make it at home by yourself, lonely. If you guys don't know what a hot pot is, you guys are legit, you guys are legit missing out. It's pretty much cheese fondue in a way. <laughs> I don't know why I say cheese fondue, but it's pretty much you have side items and you dip it into your nice broth. So you can pretty much have anything with hot pot. You can have leftovers, you can have anything, anything with hot pot, okay? So uh, the hot pot stew or the hot pot stock today is called uh, Hai Di Lao. Hai Di Lao right here guys in the back. Uh, very popular brand in uh, I think Hong Kong or China. Uh, I had this, I went to this restaurant one time and I thought it was the most amazing hot pot place I have ever been into. And this is not a paid promotion or anything, hey? So I got the hot soup base, guys. It's pretty much just on peppers. It kind of gives you like a nice tingle. I got um, oyster mushroom. I got some, uh, what is this? Watercress zucchini. We got some shinyu ramen. We got some kimchi ramen over here. We got some ban uk or uh, rice, rice rolls, beef ball, Kobe beef. No. Wagyu Kobe beef. We got some octopus over here. Let me show you guys my concoction for the hot pot sauce so you guys can make it at home too, all right? So we got some peanut sauce here. Let's go. Maybe two tablespoons of this goodness. Try this sauce out, okay? Sesame sauce or Japanese sesame sauce. Two tablespoons as well. A tablespoon of hoisin with the H, guys, not with the P. Hoisin, not poison, all right? We got a tablespoon of sriracha. And it's Chinese barbecue sauce. It kind of has, I can't even explain the sauce. Kind of has like a shallot y, deliciousness y thing. Here, just do a heaping scoop of this. There it is. This is my beautiful hot pot sauce or dipping sauce. Mix that in. Mix that in very well. We're gonna do, oh, maybe a quarter of this bag here, okay? It's more than enough, okay? Hot pot time. We got meatball. ball. We got octopus. Still a little frozen. It's okay. Just dump them into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. I just have to get in. Look at this. Oh man, have you ever had octopus before? Kind of scary looking. <laughs> Everybody at their stove top? Let's do this guys. Stove top, hot pot. Ooh! Don't turn on the oven. <laughs> Be careful, all right? Okay, let's enjoy it, guys. So, we got everything in this beautiful broth here. You guys like the light on or you guys like the light off? I feel like this light is a little too bright. What do you guys feel? Let's do a quarter of this video with the light on and we'll do a quarter of the video light off, all right? So, everybody got their hot pot? Let's do this watercress in. Very simple, guys. Oh, man, watercress only takes around, I want to say 10 seconds, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but don't overcook it, okay? We're gonna enjoy this first. Meatball. Here. Meatball. Oh. Let's do this. Sauce. There it is, guys. Pop this in your mouth. It's hot. But just go for it, guys. Good time. It's got a nice super pump for this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's beautiful. One thing I love about hot pot, it's fresh and it's made in front of your eyes. <laughs> yes. Or you could cook, you pretty much, you interact with your food. Mmm. I'm gonna watercress by far. Oh, I got some, um, what is it? Cauliflower. I found some in the fridge. Watercress, legit. One of the best vegetables you guys ever taste. Quick time. Oh well. Nice. Mm. 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 If you cook, cook it well done, it still comes out crispy. It's so good and nice. Mm. Little rice noodle. Look at this. Has dowels on the side too, so you can adjust your dowel. Look at this. Gobi beef or Wagyu beef here in Alberta. They're twisting and taking it. I know a place, a restaurant place, that sells um, authentic Wagyu or Kobe beef. And this place called Chop Steakhouse. And they sell what? A 20 ounce for about, or a kilogram for about 
$250. I might just get it just to try it once because we do have uh, our Twister take on Kobe beef or Wagyu beef here. I want to show you guys the marbling. Okay, it's still a little frozen, but look at the marbling on this. Okay, you see that? I want to say this probably does taste exactly like the Kobe beef in um, Japan there. I know I might offend a lot of people, but I feel like this piece is legit. Like it melts in your mouth. There's a lot of fat cuts in it and you can't even complain and it's expensive. <laughs> you got all your components right there, okay? Okay. Worst part about hot pot, guys, you gotta wait for it to boil up again. Guys, some tea, green ones, green ones, green tea. Quick that. It's got a nice soup off this. As wait, we can chat. What do you guys want to chat about? How's your day today? <laughs> you guys like my shorts? <laughs> we chat about anything. <laughs> I don't want to chat. You know what? Let's get into it, guys. Okay. Another meatball. Dip it in. Guys, quick tap. We got a nice soup pump for this. Mmm. I want to say, if you're a big fan of fondue, you're gonna love hot pot. Most hot pots nowadays, it's all buffet, so you're gonna get your money worth. Kobe beef or Wagyu beef here in Alberta. They're twister taking that. It's got a nice soup pump for this. Mm. Like it's fatty, like very fatty. It might not be the perfect cut of the beef, but it's it's fatty, guys. It's legit fatty. Like if you guys want to try it, you guys can go to H Mart here in Alberta or Edmonton and try their Alberta Wagyu beef. Right? Try it. It's delicious. I'm actually kind of pumped just to go and buy this Wagyu beef or Kobe beef and try it. Look. See this? See the marbling still on there? Even though I boil this to like a well, 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 well done. There it is. You guys still see the fat marble in there. Like it melts in your mouth. It has some good textures too, you know? Some of you guys do that. Fine, you eat it, it should melt in your mouth. Like legit, even though I'm chewing this, it's like melty in my mouth. Like, every bite is an explosion of fat in my mouth. <laughs> it is, guys. It's delicious. For me, though, I kind of like just the normal Alberta beef. It's more textury, you know, more meaty taste. More like there's fat pockets, but then there's meat. I like the meat, the meat taste, you know, not all fat. Mmm, I got my noodle. Mmm, mmm. Turning on the stove again. Here. Let me slide this in. Quick time! This guy, nice. Super. Oh, oh, oh! Please be careful. <laughs> That's hot. That's very hot. Like a never ending hot train in your mouth. <laughs> but it's good, very good. Very good. Mmm.
this Szechuan out. Szechuan what? Szechuan pepper. Broth it. Legit. Very tasty. That's it. <laughs> Very tasty. Oh, I'm gonna do the other half with the light off, okay? Or other quarter. What do you guys like? Off or on? Off always sets the mood, right? Mmm. One thing I hate about hot pot too, you gotta be patient. <laughs> you gotta be patient when you eat hot pot, huh? What's the rush, Quan? What's the rush? You gotta be somewhere? I do not. Why are you rushing? I actually don't even know. My bad on that part, right guys? Mmm. I love it back in the day when we had hot pop, or I heard about hot pop. And it was always all you can eat, all you can eat all the time. I remember working out, meeting up with a couple buddies, with my brother too, and we always just go all you can eat hot pot all the time after karaoke. I don't know why, but those were the days. I like it how every time my brother always, uh, uh, order steak he always ordered like way beyond and the chef always had to come out to see who's ordering that much steak it was always fun to see <laughs> oh. oh all right <laughs> i'll take my advice all right i'll take my advice sorry guys kind of spit that out kind of disgusting but you know what it happens If you never ever spit your hot pot food out of your mouth before, anytime you've eaten hot pot, I just want to say you, my friend, have some patience. Me, I don't, I don't know. I don't have patience. Hey, okay, we sit. We just chill. I've been working out, guys. You guys see it? You guys see my arms? It's growing. <laughs> it's growing. I'm not really growing. I think when you get leaner, more of your muscle mass will show. So I'm not even flexing. I'm not even bragging, guys. Not even flexing. I'm just doing this. <laughs> not bragging. <laughs> okay, I am cutting down, guys. Well, it's gonna take some time, all right? Mmm. I swear, vegetables are the worst to eat in this. Cause I don't know why it's so hot. Mm. Watercress. Get some of that. Beef. Beef ball. See the marbling on that? It's beautiful, guys. I think the place is called Brentwood. Brentwood Alberta Wagyu Beef. I think that's what it's called, but don't quote me on that. But search it up, Google it. I think that's what it's called. They make really good uh, quality beef. I ain't gonna lie, though. Wait. 